instead of using histograms, now we are going to use region growing in order to illustrate image segmentation. So I'm going to define um, a function here that you can take a look in more detail when you're um, studying the, the, um, the code, the source code, that basically performs a depth first search on the four neighbors of each pixel. We start with a pixel that is the seed, and then we are going to conquer new pixels, neighbor pixels, if that pixel value is similar enough to the average of the current region. So for every uh, call to that, to that um, function, we are going to compute the mean value where the image is equals to 1, that means the region that we want to conquer, but that, uh, that is being growing. And then we are going to check uh, for every one of the four neighbors and then call the, the, the same function again with, uh, with some tolerance. I'm going to uh, create a synthetic image using uh, random numbers and then compute three times this, um, this algorithm using the same pixel as seed, so 6 tree, but different, different um, parameters of tolerance. So increasingly we are going to, to move from 8 to 16 to 24. And then the result is like that. So the, um, the pixel is inside this object and the, the image that, that I created here that has two objects. One with a value of 100, which is this one here. And the other one with value 112, which is this one here. Both of them will have some noise, so in order to problem the problem to become a little bit more difficult and realistic. And as you can see here, there there is some noise, and because of that, when we if we use um, a, criteri a criterion that is uh, too low, then we are not going to be able to fill and to grow the region to the entire object. So I increase that to 16, and then we succeed by including all that, um, all the values of the, the rectangle. However, if I increase it too much, then I start conquering other regions that possibly does not belong to the object that I want to segment, and this is the, the result. Sometimes we do want that, and then it depends on the definition of this parameter. Um, I'm using the same algorithm but now for a real image, the board image. Then as you can see here we could segment only a small fraction of that image. So it is useful to segment specific regions. I continue using that but now the seed is defined somewhere else in the image and then I'm able to detect specific parts of the image. As I mentioned before we implemented that using recursion, but usually this is not vi viable for large images. So if we, if you want to do that for large regions, it is recommended to implement a virtual stack instead of a recursive function.